All right, I'm really excited to start this thing. And the first thing we're gonna do is start putting the pressure hull together. And you can see that I've cut out the midsection of the pressure hull, just showing you what it looks like on the plan. So it's a big square. And then it's got teeth on, in this case, either side. And then it's got a little joiner strip. And I've already cut that out and um, started to put it together. And what I did this time was roll it and then clamped it together with a couple of little clamps. And that kind of kept it in a uh, you know very tight pattern for a little while. I mean, I rolled it as I normally do, but then I did this. And then when I undid the little clamps, it was already... You know, I had to actually pry it apart to get it to the right step and get those pieces to fit together. So it kind of worked out well, because it's kind of a long piece to glue together. But once I got that set up, all I did was put some glue right along here. Now, you should use another implement, like a bamboo skewer or a meal or a something. Um, you shouldn't come right out of the bottle, but I don't know. I, I get lazy. It seems to work. Um, and then I go back and use my finger and sort of smooth it out, give me things, give me a little less glue. And then um, you just go ahead and put this thing together. Now, because it's long, you got to be, it's, it's hard to do. Because when you, when you put them together, you want to make sure the ends are, of course, lined up so that they're not, it um, doesn't have a step in it. But you got to make sure it's together. And I'm trying to make sure that it's not going to have a seam or they're gonna at least be butted up to each other. But you tend to, your fingers and stuff aren't long enough, so I tend to get the ends right and then squeeze them together, and then I work into the middle. And if you can stick your fingers down there uh, and provide some backing, that is the best way to go. <clears throat> Once you do that, you end up with a little tube, and it looks pretty good, nice and solid. Now, this thing has um, a couple of formers in it. And there's two of them, one on each end. And so all I do is go and cut those out. These are what I usually cut out on in my balsa. But because I splurged and got these little laser cut um, cardboard parts, I'm using these. And they do speed up things and they're very accurate. If you can get them for a model, it's kind of fun. It's maybe a little bit cheating, but I don't know. I think sometimes it's nice to be able to know that it's gonna be pretty accurate. The little nubbins that you cut out from, make sure you pull that off with a little bit of sandpaper to make a nice smooth area for the to glue to the paper. And uh, the next thing to do is to test fit them, and wouldn't you know it, they fit very well. And I'm just test fitting it on the end. They slid right through the whole tube, actually. Um, my son even laughed at me because I didn't think they would, uh, but they fit very precisely. So again, that's a good that's a good sign. The rest of the model is going to be a, a pretty awesome fit. Um, but here I'm just playing around with it to try to you know, push it from one end, just trying to make sure it's going to look okay. So now I know it's going to be okay. Um, I try to... Uh, um, what I end up doing here is drawing a little line where the edge is going to be right where the little teeth um, ridges are, where the valleys are. You don't need to do that. You just use the valleys as your edge. But for some reason, I like to be able to see where it's going to, where it's going to go. Um, but now I'm test fitting again, going from the side. I'm just taking my thumb and just very carefully pushing it in until I get to the edge of my pencil line. And then I know that I'm level. And that's where it should go. And you can see the fit is the fit is really exemplary. It's really good. And the tube is just long enough that it's hard to get your fingers in there. You might use the end of a knife or a, pa a, a paintbrush or something if you got to push it out a little bit. Um, but I'm playing around with this one because the other side, you won't be able to do that. You all have to put it in just from the from the outside because there'll be no way to push from the, from the inside with the other bulkhead in. But there it is. Test fit looks good. Test fitting is the name of the game. Now, in this case, once I got it right, instead of going, I tried something else. I took a little blob of super glue and just tacked it in a couple of places. Um, and uh, it glued very nice, was nice and strong. And then I hit it with a little zip kicker just to cement it in place quickly so I know it's in there. And that bulkhead is not going anywhere. Um, again, these models are 
they're not delicate, but they're usually not used to be, uh, you're not going to play with them constantly anyway. So as long as things are glued enough so that you got structure and you don't, you don't malform everything, then uh, don't worry about it. So this is just me sped up doing the same thing with the other side, exactly the same way. Um, you can see I put a little glue in this time. I just used the regular glue, not the super fast drying glue, but that worked. And then a little fast drying glue on the outside just to tack it in place so that, really, so that the other glue would dry. And there you go. There's your center section of your um, pressure hull. So now we'll start putting on some forward pieces. So I'll start with that piece right there. And what I noticed in this was the first time I've ever had something where there's the seam. You can see I put a T. And T is up where the seam is. Usually every single thing I've built, the seam is on the bottom. In this case, it's not. It's on the top. And so, um, because when you do that, suddenly the, 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 the droop is the wrong way if you, if you uh, do it the way I thought it would do it. So sure enough, um, that's the way to do it. In this case, the seam is going to be on top. It's going to be covered by the deck. But I put a little glue on the inside and then make sure my little teeth are not in the way and then just slide it on, matching up the uh, seam and the you know, like there's a little tooth that fell out, but I had to kind of squish it back in place. But um, once you uh, get all those things sandwiched in there and kind of twist it, you'll get it to the right location. Just make sure things are lined up. Um, and uh, you can see I'm making sure the seam is right, and I'm pushing in. And then as I push in, you're trying to glue this together so you don't get much of a seam at all, of course, or a little bit's okay, but you don't want a, the Grand Canyon in there. Um, what I do is I take some forceps and I go in and squeeze the teeth down and push in so that a little bit more pressure makes them glue pretty well. And I'm just checking to make sure it's all right. And I go all the way around the circumference, just kind of gently squeezing. And there's the part of the front end. Looks really good. Looks great. So we'll move forward to the next one. So that one's interesting. It's got an interesting front end. I think it's where the torpedo ends are going to go. And those little teeth are just a little tiny teeth um, protrusion at the very bottom. And uh, that's the former that goes in there. And so I already put the edging piece on there, and I've edge, edge printed them or edge colored them, by the way, with a marker. And there's a little tick mark that lets me know exactly where that's supposed to go. And this thing is very precise. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an edge right from there to there that's actually lower, slightly lower, than the outside, rest of the outside, and that's because that's where the, the that takes into account the thickness of the paper tab, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, so I put this little paper tab on to the skin. And this is how I usually do it. Put some down, and then I mark, I line up the two little tick marks so it's in the center, and you can see those when you're actually doing it. You can't really see it on this picture. Um, Put that on there and make sure it's nice and centered. Make sure the teeth are even on either side and then give a little bit of pressure. Whoa, a lot of pressure. And um, let that dry a second. Now, what I usually do now is roll this around in my hand, which is usually what I do. However, check this out. So at Dezo, which is a little kind of Japanese dollar store, I found these. These my wife bought and for cheap, and they're used to block things that she knits. So she puts pins in these, and she lays out sweaters and things so they will dry flat. Turns out these things work great. They're nice and thick, and they really work well. They're like a, 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 a mouse pad on steroids. I um, tried to find a mouse pad. Um, my wife got me one for my birthday, but it's too skinny. Um, these things work great to roll on because they're just like, you know, just have enough give. And you can just roll, and they work just like anything else, but I really like these, and they're inexpensive. If you buy them at a quilt store, which is what they're for, they're, ex they're really expensive. If you can find them at one of these um, dollar stores, they're very, very inexpensive. Um, but I roll this around with my tapered um, paintbrush handle, and it won't go any smaller, so I go to a smaller paintbrush handle. That's just what that was showing. Get it around until it will fit, and it will nuzzle up together and make a nice seam, which it will. You just, all this is is a lot of doing things several times, making sure you get things just so. And you can see by my fingers turning red, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on these to make things, to make the paper curl to the right general shape. 
Um, but yeah, I learned that that's what you need to do. And then put a glue on there, put some glue on there, and slide it together. This one's easier to work with because it's small, and so it's not real hard to get everything uh, glued, and you can get your finger in there easily. Um, but I go down sequentially and squeeze the um, seam together so I get a nice edge. And uh, there's that piece going. Now, I just test fit this thing, and I was not... This is the first time I put it together, right here. Oh. I needed to push those so they were pushing in, looking in a little bit. Uh, just, just, just a tiny bit so that the piece would go on a little easier. If they were straight out, it was harder to get on. So they're just slightly pushed down. But this is the first time on camera, it's the first time I put this together. And uh, just watch this. Look at this. Line up the seams. Bam. It, it almost clicks together like a, like a plastic model. Um, really a nice <laughs> a nice seam it goes together it's straight and everything holds in together i was amazed i thought i'd have to do a little bit of work to get that to come together and then this is the bulkhead now in retrospect i should have waited to put the bulkhead on later but i was a little nervous i thought it'd be easier to do it because i could really manipulate but i'm just testing that bulkhead where it fits there's the little teeth that stick out the bottom and I can't quite get it in because it's an oval shape. It turns from a circle to an oval. And uh, not quite getting it, but don't force it. What you do is squeeze a little bit, and that gives it, it turns into a little oval ellipse kind of shape. And then she fits right in, no problem. In fact, too well. And there I'm making sure it's going to fit, it's in the right place. And uh, that looks pretty good. And then making sure these are even. What I did was I took a little straight edge and kind of put it down and pushed on the other side to make sure that it's nice and straight. But this is all still just test fitting, essentially. So then once I think it's working, add my glue on the inside piece. You could also go the other way. You could put it on the, on the bulkhead, but I find this works a little bit better. Slides in and it kind of grabs the glue and you, you know exactly where it's supposed to be. But because I kind of pre-squished that front end, that fits right down nice. And now you just make sure that everything is, again, even. Make sure the bulkhead, in this case, is flush. So there I'm making sure it's flush along that part. And then I'm pushing from the back side to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. Um, just a game of, of trying to put even pressure on things. Um, because you got to make sure that it's, it's um, you know, just so. And does butt up with no, no um, uh, steps in it. So this is just playing with it, getting it just right. A lot of patience and playing around. Um, and here's where I take the straight edge and I put it so that the teeth are not going to get crushed. But I actually hold it like this and then I push down from the back side. And if you push down, you're going to get it to be exactly up against and flush where it needs to be. So there it is. And that's those are the holes or circles. That's where the uh, uh, torpedo area, I think, would have gone. Now, since I already tested this, I go ahead and put glue on it and let it roll around the outside here. And um, I was a little bit liberal with the glue here, so I came back with a um, came back with a paintbrush handle and sort of squeegeed it down a little bit because um, too much glue can also ruin things, especially this kind of glue. It's, it'll make the paper kind of get soft. Lined it up like we did before, and um, there it is, snapping into place. Roll it sometimes a little bit. Roll it back and forth. It'll help distribute the glue and give you a good bond. But look at this. I hope you can see it. These lines that are already printed on there, look at how these lines match up um, everywhere um, on this side, too. So I'm so far really, really impressed with this model. I mean, it just barely started it, of course, but... And the pressure hole is probably the easiest thing to put together on it. But goodness, it seems like a really nice fit and model. So now I just got to keep going on the front end and then put the back end in.